We're here today on the Capitol grounds and this particular tree that's behind me is an American elm and it is a big tree candidate for the registry in the state of West Virginia. Um, one of the things we have to do first is identify it. It's an American elm and we do that by the bark and the leaf. We give it its scientific name on the sheet and then there are three measurements that have to take place in order for us to get a total score uh, to find out whether the tree is a candidate for the book. Um, we measure the tree's circumference in inches, which means we have to wrap a tape all the way around it and, and calculate the number of inches. We will then calculate that this tree is 15 feet 2 inches in circumference. Obviously we're talking about feet, so we need inches. So we take 15, multiply it by 12, which gives us 180, and then we add the extra two inches on, so we have a score for that in inches of 182. We then do an average crown spread, which means we will take a linear measurement under the crown from drip edge to drip edge. We know that from myself to Leslie, it's 45 yards. Uh, that 45 yards, you, there's three feet in a yard, so we multiply by three for 45, which gives us 135. Uh, that figure is one of two that we have to take for this measurement. Uh, we will do the next one at 90 degrees of this particular line that we have, and then add the two together and divide by two to get our average crown spread. Okay, so it's 41 yards from where I am now to Leslie, and so we multiply by three, that gives us 123 feet. So what we did is we took our first greatest crown spread measurement, which was 135 feet. We then took a measure of the crown 90 degrees to that measure, which ended up being 123 feet. Those two added together was 258 feet, divided by two gives us 129 feet of average crown spread. The last one will be our tree height, and we will figure that one with the clinometer by being 100 feet away from the tree and using the percent side of the scale on the clinometer. So as we look through the clinometer, we see the base of our tree is at five, plus five and already having determined the top branch for the top of this tree, when we scroll up, our top number is 99. So 99 minus five is 94. Now we've gotten all our measurements. And after doing the calculations, uh, our tree here comes up with a total score of 305 and 305 will put it at number three in the state. Uh, so it will go into the Big Tree Registry and it will be right here for everyone to see at our state capitol. So come and enjoy it.